All right, friends, I thought I would show a quick video of how I was able to finally get my three-way video switcher working. This is the second one I've had. The first one was from Banggood and didn't even work at all. I don't know what I was doing wrong, if anything. <clears throat> that was this one. So, it just never would calibrate or anything right. So, $15 down the drain. I bought another one for $20 from GetFPV. This is made by SmartFPV. And it's pretty nice. Uh, if, as long as you follow the instructions, it's pretty easy. You just plug it into your receiver. And then ignore these wires here because I didn't end up using those anyway. They provide a power supply to your cameras. And I have them currently wired to a 5 volt <coughs> outlet on my machine. I should probably have cut those off before I did this tutorial, but uh, anyway, these are not needed. So, what I've been able to achieve is the onboard camera and the GoPro camera. Broadcasting to the uh, boss cam receiver and monitor. Then with the Tyrannus radio, I have one switch set up to change between, and you can see that we get the two different views. Now, this took me quite a bit of head scratching to figure it out, so I just wanted to go over a couple things that maybe already made sense to you, but maybe if you're looking at this video, they can help you. Essentially, what I had to do was create a pigtail uh, power supply to independently give power to the transmitter and to this camera. And my aircraft power runs on 3S, so it's 11.1 .1 volts. And uh, that's just coming off of a junction that I soldered down in there. So, once you're independently powering the camera and the transmitter, all you have to do is get your signal wires to the switch. I never was able to succeed with trying to feed power out of the switch to the camera <clears throat> or to the transmitter. And instead, like I said, just running power independently to them and only running their signal wires to the, obviously the video in, or video one for that one, and uh, the video out for the transmitter, and then also for video two for the GoPro, which just turned off on me. In fact, because the GoPro, I'm using the internal battery within it, which helps my CG and get a little more weight up front in this case because of my heavy battery in the back uh, this black wire is totally unnecessary as well it's doing nothing it's non-functional so really on this side of the switch all you need is the three signal wires one into each and uh, that probably, probably makes logical sense and it took me a while to figure that out but like I said as long as I wasn't trying to get 5 volts power out of the uh, receiver from here or trying to feed 5 volts off of here instead providing full power to both these and then independently running the signal wires to the switch it works fine So this is the diatone white sheep kind of a TBS discovery clone with uh, an APM 2.5 board in there and uh, the aimed Roix extended arms with uh, some insufficient <laughs> motors currently but it's running 12 inch props and I'm not getting great flight times about 10 minutes if I'm lucky and it weighs quite a bit so uh, this is also a modified eBay gimbal that uh, I created this custom mount for and this arm which kind of gives it a whole clean section here 
And uh, you can see the other motor is inside there. And the uh, GoPro just hangs out right here on the front. Sticks out there a little ways. It's not perfectly centered, so it kind of hangs off to the side a little bit. I probably need to bring this arm in a little bit to kind of center that up, but it does okay for now. And uh, obviously it provides adequate spacing for downward tilt. Well, that's all I have, and uh, good luck to you. Hopefully you are able to get this done quicker than I did.